All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. We're out here in the Freedom Shack. The reason we call it the Freedom Shack is this thing is just full of freedom. And speaking of freedom, this is also Memorial Day weekend. So before we get kicked off on this video, this is going to be somewhat of a show and tell. We're going to do a preview of what's coming up this week because we've got some pretty cool stuff coming up. We're going to continue training for the Multi-Gun Nationals. But we're also going to, and I know... Sing it with me. Do you want to build an AR? We're going to start a new project. Uh, we haven't even finished with the other project, which is the Car 15 deal. But here's what I want to do before we get started. Because this is a Memorial Day weekend, I'd like for you, if you would, please, in the comment section down below, put hashtag Memorial Day. And then behind that, I'd like you to recognize maybe someone you know or knew, knew, who gave the ultimate sacrifice so that we can live and do things out here in this thing called the Freedom Shack. So if you would, please do that. Hashtag Memorial Day and behind that, their name and maybe what that person meant to you. I know that I have several people that I was uh, in the military with uh, and served with proudly who are not here today. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's it. So before, let's get started. So right now we've got, this is the three gun rifle that are gonna be used. This is a primary rifle. And one of the things I'm going to do now is I'm gonna bring a backup. Now, I hate to say it, but I'm running a Vortex Razor HD on this guy. It's got the throw lever on it. And we've got a diamond, Trigger Tech diamond, little bolt carrier in here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna switch the uh, uh, charging handle out to match this charging handle. And as you can see, both of these firearms are running the uh, double star uh, a skeleton I stock. They are as close as they can be together just because I need that. Also, a SJC comp on here and a Wilson Combat uh, match barrel. This thing this is a pretty nice rifle. Uh, but in any case, we're going to take this thing out. We're going to zero it in, make sure it's set up for the 200 grain and the 55 grain. Same way we do with this guy right here. Uh, also, I added, and this is, and we'll do a review on this, the aim assist. This is the throw lever for the setup for the Platinum. So if you guys have a Platinum uh, 1 to 8 scope from Primary Arms, there is a company out there, Aim Assist, that does make a throw lever for this. And it works out perfectly in conjunction with the backup iron sights right here. All right, let's go ahead and put these things away, and we'll talk about, real quickly, the parts and pieces. We're going to be doing a review, as well as a really cool announcement. Hold on. Okay, so I've got a new rifle build here. And I always start off, what is the scope of work for this rifle? What, what is it deemed to do? What are we going to do with this? That will determine length of barrel, uh, length of pull, the stock, what kind of trigger are we going to run in here, uh, what kind of optic are we going to put, what kind of charging handle. All those cool little details will define what this rifle build is. Now, here's the kicker. Previously on the past... Uh, I've had a little, and I'm serious, I've had a bunch of people ask me, you know, uh, can you do a video showing the assembly of the lower? Well, typically we can't show those things on YouTube. As a matter of fact, I think the reason I lost my, demonet the, my monetization on the channel is because I had my website, kb32tac.com, in the comment section down below. Even though it does not lead to direct sale of firearms, like they say, uh, what it did do is it led you to PSA. Uh, Rainier Arms, Aero Precision, Ballistic Advantage, all the cool companies that helped me along. So in any case, we're going to go over to Gun Streamer, Gun Tuber, Gun Stream, <laughs> uh, whatever that, yeah, yeah, the other other channel, and we're actually going to have the assembly of these things. So what'll happen is these videos will work in conjunction with YouTube, and then we'll go to Gun Streamer to show the assembly, which is going to be a really cool deal. But in any case, I want to lead you into uh what we're going to be doing here a uh, squirrel here check that out that's a new grip by the guys over there at uh, fab defense this is set up for a precision rifle it does not have the beaver tail but it has the vertical drop that you want but maybe not so straight vertical 90 degree we're going to be putting that on the mpa here all right let's talk about this new rifle build uh Kind of, this, this is actually interesting because it coincides with a different rifle build that I have. And we'll talk about the differences in there. But first of all, let's talk about this. Uh, we are going to install on this thing because what I want to do is I want to try to have it as short as possible. Now, I keep going back to that Law Tactical folding device. 
And uh, it all started out that that LAL tactical folder was going to go on a different build. And what happened is eventually it turned into a you know, 12 and a half inch barrel, a bunch of other stuff going on. And I bought a bunch of other pieces that were supposed to go with that. But you know, long story short, uh, I start with one thing and end up with another. But what you gotta do is stay focused. So I bought these pieces and parts over a long period of time, just kind of, and I put them in a box. Uh, you guys recall, I've had this BCM bolt carry group for quite some time. I bought that BCM bolt carry group specifically for this build because I wanted something. Well, let's just say uh, the comfort level of knowing that this is probably one of the better pieces, parts and pieces. All right, so let's talk about this. The I got the ultra compact stock kit from LWRC. Now I want to put this on here because I'm running this guy right here. This is the 16 inch upper from Palmetto State Armory. This is also equipped with the Mark 14 handguard from the guys over there at Geisley with the FN barrel. You got the Geisley uh, gas block. The only thing I'm probably going to end up replacing is the bird cage. I just don't like one, the color of this because it just doesn't go anywhere. It's shiny, but I also am a big fan of the Yankee Hill Precision. Um, Muzzle brakes, they're a little bit longer, but what I'm trying to do with this rifle is flash mitigation. I want to stay, uh, what do you call that when you're staying unseen, uh, concealed. There you go. Anyway, we're going to do a complete review and a tear down of this guy because one of the things that I always want to do is I want to tear the product down. We're going to test it out, take a look at a bunch of stuff. As for a lower, we're going to be running an Aero Precision mil spec lower, uh, lower parts kit to include the trigger system. We're gonna do this guy right here from Strike Industries. This is a whole enhanced deal. I'm gonna put on the BCM Mod 3, which is a go-to. And then of course the Air Precision, this is their Raptor, Radiant Raptor, not Air Precision, <laughs> Radiant Raptor. I love these. Uh, I had some people ask me, why don't you go with the guys, uh, Airborne? I just don't like that hook on the Airborne for some reason, it's just not what I wanna do. Uh, so in any case, uh, what we'll do is we will do a parts review of each individual part. I'm gonna tear this upper completely apart and show you all the ins and outs and the inner workings. And then we will do the lower assembly over there on Gun Streamer. Okay, so you guys can see that. And I'll do the announcement for that here in the near future. And we'll take this thing out. And we've got, of course, to put an optic on it. Uh, some type of red dot, maybe some backup iron sights and just, you know, have some fun with it. But this is going to be a mission-oriented uh, dedicated rifle, and I think we're going to call it the TAC Ulta. TAC Ulta is going to be the name of it because it's the ultimate in tactical. Uh, I want to do a 16-inch barrel because it lends itself better to uh, the optics that are out there with the BDC. They're real fast, real quick, maybe a magnifier with the uh, new 25 millimeter. Uh, what do you call it, a 25 millimeter uh, reticle or <laughs> the uh, red dot from primary arms with the ACSS reticle on it. That'd be really cool to see. So anyway, guys, this will be moving forward down the road. Uh, just to let you know, we're gonna be continuing on with that BCG stuff. I've got a bunch of, uh, went out, bought a whole pin set so we could be like uh, Instructor Chad. But anyway, it's just uh, interesting and fun and learning a bunch of cool stuff out there. And I've actually am going to the next part that we talk about is going to be the gas key right here if y'all guys can see that so anyway with that being said uh we got a lot of cool things do not please forget the hashtag memorial day and a brief description of the person that you give thanks to that gave their ultimate sacrifice so that we can do what we're doing here regardless of what's going on in the world today we can do what we're doing here let's go to boy 32 uh let's end it like this god bless america god bless us men women in uniform who gave the ultimate sacrifice so that we can live in freedom. Basically, the way that our founding fathers wrote it in this thing right here, Constitution of the United States of America. I always remember Greg Sutton, a good guy, retired first sergeant out of one of the units. He was one of my team sergeants when I first started. And he was a true leader and that he wanted to see you succeed. And that meant the world to me. And I will never forget that guy. Let's go to boy 32. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.